asked me to set the time, uh, so I guess this is my first time using it, so we'll find that out. Also here, I already loaded a couple of, uh, some coffee beans in it. I've got a coffee bean hatch that you can put 11 ounces of coffee in. And also, you can select the grind, you know, how the coarseness of the grind of coffee bean that you would like. So, I'll put that back. Also has a doser or dowser, whatever you like to call it, for grind coffee. You only can put two tablespoons maximum in it. Just in case you don't want to use your uh, whole coffee beans, you can use the grind coffee that you got. Maybe you want to have some decaf coffee. But who want to have a decaf coffee when you can have regular coffee? That's what coffee is for. Also, these are programmable buttons. I'm not going to go through everything right now. Also has a cup warmer, so you know you stainless steel on the top. Also have a slide rule here, and that slide rule is to uh, the froster. You know, that's to let the froster up and down. Uh, so I'm gonna take a minute out, and then I'm gonna set the time, and we'll get everything rolling. All right? Thing is that it does have a instruction manual that comes along with it, and a instruction manual fits easily inside his own compartment just in case you need to know how to make a cappuccino or know anything about how to program the machine because this is a super automatic espresso maker cappuccino maker latte maker and uh, again I'm gonna take the time out to uh, program everything and let's get started all right got a couple of things ready I want to start off by making a single cup of espresso it's gonna go by button by button I'm going to make a two ounce espresso, no typically espresso to me is one ounce, but you know, we Americans, we like a lot more. So, uh, again, that's two ounces of espresso that's going to shoot out. And, and, and what I did notice already, this thing makes a great crema, you know, it has that nice little cream on the top of it, straight from the coffee. Now, I love eight o'clock coffee beans, I, use, I would only use eight o'clock whole coffee beans. Probably the best coffee in the world. Uh, okay, and they already say one espresso is ready. And again, has that nice crema. So, you know, that's flat. Alright, uh, our next thing we're going to do, we're going to do a double espresso. We're going to do a double espresso maker. And a double espresso, so I'm gonna do a double shot of espresso. So I'm gonna do two two ounce serving. And also this is adjustable, so if you wanna bring it down closer to the cup, it'll bring it down closer to the cup. Alright. So I but again, if I wanted to, I can have a three ounce espresso. Or I can have a four ounce espresso, which is, it'll be a cup of coffee then. But if you wanted to, you can fully, while, while the coffee is brewing, you can adjust the amount, the volume of coffee or liquid that's going into uh, espresso maker, into your espresso cups. Okay, so I got my double, I got my crema on top. Or the cream, whatever you want to call it. Crema, cream. I'm going to pull those out. Alright. And one thing you will notice is that everything has a little hatch there. And everything is has a, a collection. So, got the coffee beans. You know, the grinds. The, the spent grinds. Has its own collection tank. And also, if some water was to spill, it has that also. So. Just push that back in there, close it up, and we're going to go with uh, a small cup of coffee, okay, that's a six ounce regular European cup of coffee, we're going to go with that. Alright, 
It's making a perfect cup of coffee. All right, making a six ounce cup of coffee. It's ready. Okay, next we're gonna make a tall cup of coffee. All right, and all these coffees are very hot. And again, it has the perfect caramel on top. Uh, we're gonna make a large cup of coffee. All right, and that's gonna be American size. It's a 10 ounce size coffee. You know, we Americans, we love a big cup of coffee. So that's a 10 ounce cup of coffee. Nothing being paused. I mean, we're, we're making espresso to a double espresso to a small coffee to a large coffee, and everything is still hot. All right. Krups XP9000 is probably the best coffee maker or super espresso maker you're ever going to run into. I, I looked at the rest. You don't see a lot of video footage of this one out here, so I decided since this is a great espresso maker, coffee maker, lot to make. A, a cappuccino maker, latte maker, I was going to put some time and effort into uh, having the perfect crema, perfect crema on that again. All right. All right, my next thing we're going to do, we're going to skip over the water and the steam button. We're going to go directly to the cappuccino. All right. You want to center that. And I'm going to hit the cappuccino. It's one button operation. It's a put in uh, three ounces of cold milk. Lower the steam nozzle. All right, that is a manual steam nozzle. It's not automatic, so you know it's up and down, up and down. So, all right, it's gonna it's preheating right now. It's gonna froth the milk automatically. It's frothing the milk. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to move the cup up and down, left and right. It's doing it right inside the cup. Okay, now here's the coffee. Again, everything's adjustable. If you want to adjust it down, you can. Okay, I'm going to pull up the frothing wand because we don't need it anymore. Move that out the way. Let that settle for one second. Okay, and again, that's the perfect. You see your three levels, you see your milk, you see your coffee, and you see your froth. The perfect cappuccino. Perfect. Alright. What we're 